Hey everyone and happy Monday. This is the start of a new vlog. I'm so excited to have a new vlog coming for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed last week's and let's see what we're up to this week. But I wanted to start today specifically because I'm about to get some wellness treatments done at Restore. This is a wellness and cryotherapy center so I'm very excited to get some treatments done. I brought my mom along with me so we are going to try a couple of the services that we offer. Um, before we got here we went to the Pokey Company and got a Pokey bowl and it was so satisfying. I love the Pokey Company. If you're in South Florida, you need to try them. Best Pokey in town. Um, so yeah, we're just having a nice little spa wellness day together and uh, come along for the ride. <laughs> easy crock pot dinner here I have some bread lentils I did rinse them and I also drain them I have some onion stewed tomatoes fire roasted diced tomatoes and some chili beans I'll probably throw in some kidney beans as well but we are gonna make a crock pot lentil chili so let's see what's up that I started the vlog with and I have my beautiful mother here who has been so blessed to see me twice this week. I'm sure she would disagree, but um, yeah, I'm with my mom. I just got done with work. You guys saw I was down in Miami shooting facial coverings. Um, it's so interesting how that's uh, a new market and a new client. So we did a bunch of different shots for some new masks. Um, and now we are actually going to do some car shopping. Um, I did qualify for the car program with Moni and I am super excited. It has to be a white Cadillac and I have my eyes set on one so we're gonna go check it out and see what kind of colors they have for the interior. Um, do a little bit of shopping in terms of deals and just kind of see what the dealerships have to offer. So figured this is such a monumental moment. I wanted to document it all today at least to our knowledge is not the day we are going to walk out with a car. Um, you never know, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with my last car. We were like, oh, we're just gonna go look and you know how car salesmen are. So uh, we will see, but at least we're gonna get a better idea of what's out there.
Good morning everyone. So I spent the night at my mom's house yesterday and we went and looked at cars and then also we met up with my brother and we went and got oysters. So it was really nice. I'm just trying to finalize the interior and honestly white cars are really hard to find right now and so it's uh, something we got to you know do some digging for. So it was really nice um, you know to just have my mom by my side. I don't know if it's I think my mom has really strong coffee. I'm freaking out right now, like tweaking. Um, but I wanted to come on here and just have a moment of vulnerability. And I felt like I should just bring out my camera because sometimes you just have to document things, how you're feeling. And I don't know where the, the emotions are coming from, but truly, I don't know what I would do without my mom. And... I know she watches my videos and I've never, I don't know, I just got flooded with an emotion of this woman does everything for me and my brother and is always, always willing to help financially. Um, she makes the phone calls like right now, she's on the, on the phone taking the initiative to figure out what's going on with my car. She always makes herself available for any appointments we have to go to. And it's been like this my entire life. Um, you guys might know if you've seen my videos before, I lost my dad when I was 16 years old and my parents got divorced when I was six. So um, my mom was really pretty much a single mom, you know, doing everything for me and my brother, my dad, wasn't as present when we were younger and to be honest he came around when we kind of needed him most when we were like you know maybe like 10 is when he really started being more involved and my mom and him developed a really strong friendship um and so when my dad got diagnosed with cancer my mom actually um took him in and he lived with us and my mom took care of him and it's just I, I don't think you realize how important your parents are until you're old enough and you're like, what the hell would I do without you? Like, how would I figure this out without you? And so I just wanted to say, if you have your parents still around and you're able to give them a hug and tell them how much they mean to you, please do that because my mom is my best friend. You know, she's the person I come to when I have a question or I need advice or I just need support. I call my mom before anything. And I'm very lucky to have that relationship with her. And um, not that I needed to come on here and cry to you guys, but I just, I wanted to share this. I wanted to share just how powerful um, my mom's presence is to me and just how much I appreciate her and I, I love her dearly. So mom, if you're watching, I hope you know how much you mean to me and I hope you know that I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for you and I wouldn't be living this life if it wasn't for you and all the sacrifices you've ever made for me and Pierce. You truly are the most remarkable person on this planet and I love you more than anything. So enough ugly crying. I'm actually going to go downstairs and give her a hug but I just wanted to document this because I, I felt it, you know, we're, we're humans and we deserve to not always put on this front that everything is like, granted, these are happy tears. I'm not crying because of sad things, but like, I need to document these moments when I'm, I'm a person and I feel emotions and I knew I was about to cry for some reason. I'm like, let me pull out the camera. So good morning, happy Friday. And uh, parents, you are incredible beings. And I hope you know how much you do for your kids. I know sometimes you don't realize it, they don't realize it till they're older, but you know, I'm 26 years old and holy crap, you need some support sometimes and my mom has been that for me since the moment I came out, so. <sighs> All right, I think it's the coffee. Now I'm ready to start the day. <laughs> I don't know if you remember this from Walmart on the last haul, but this is the savory Tuscan style tofu, it's plant-based. And I made it with the Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. We got some garlic bread, but I'm gonna show you how I put it all together. The avocado and garlic bread. So excited, it looks so good. 
Hey guys, I know this vlog was a little all over the place to be honest. My week has just been so busy with going back and forth, trying to turn in my car um, while also getting a new car, which I do have it. I'm very, very excited and um, I am going to show you the reveal probably in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, this week's been a little bit inconsistent in terms of turning on the camera, but I do still hope you enjoyed the footage that I captured. Um, I cried like a baby in this vlog and that is, you know, obviously very interesting to share your ugly cry, but truthfully it was um, how I felt in that moment and it's how um, grateful I've been, um, or at least as a symbol of how grateful I've been for not only my mom, but also um, the opportunity to, you know, uh, kickstart my career with Moni and, you know, really have something that symbolizes all the hard work I've put in after these two and a half years. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions for upcoming videos, please leave them down below. And until my next one, I'll see you guys then.